So I've been in practice for a while and I've done a lot of videos on this topic of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, thyroid disorders, and migraines. What is a migraine? That's the starting point. So a migraine headache, the physiology of it, appears to be an area of inflammation in the brain. And that area of inflammation then kind of spreads like a shockwave throughout the brain. There are many other factors associated with this. Watch uh, my video, I think it's called Understanding the Physiology of Chronic Headaches or something like that. Or my mast cell and headache video. Good uh, templates for foundation. Going forward. Uh, many studies throughout the years have found that those who suffer with regular migraines are more likely to develop hypothyroidism than the average population. That might be a, a coincidence, it might not. Researchers thought that perhaps the reason why migraine headache sufferers were developing this, uh, these thyroid disorders was possibly because Hashimoto's thyroiditis was going on in the background, i.e. the immune system was attacking the thyroid, and that was not only eventually leading to hypothyroidism, but it was also part of the migraine process. Well, until tonight. So I'm gonna attach an article. It's the first article ever done on this, according to the authors, and I will say I have not seen one like it in my time. And basically they found what I've been suspecting and talking about for a long period of time. They saw that not only is there this relationship between migraines and thyroid disorders, but they also saw that there is a relationship between Hashimoto's thyroiditis and migraine sufferers. And they had a large sample size, so it was upwards of a thousand people, not the biggest in recorded history, but that's a pretty good sample size for uh, a migraine study. And so it's quite interesting that now Hashimoto's thyroiditis is considered a comorbidity. And in their study, they found that those who had Hashimoto's thyroiditis actually had more severe headaches. They had a longer duration of the headaches, if I remember correctly. So I will attach the article to the description. Send me your questions, I'm interested. And um, more to come, Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist and chiropractic physician from Gates Brain Health. I'll have more videos on thyroid and other extra thyroid connections coming soon.